Hey everyone, and welcome to After Hours. In tonight's episode, we are going to be taking a look at lining up those edge-to-edge -edge patterns when you're computerized quilting that need to hit in a very specific spot. Now, I will be doing this on my Anova Autopilot machine, but you can take some of the tips and tricks that I've got and apply it to the machine that you have to get those edge-to-edges to line up just perfect at those specific points. So, let's head over to the machine and take a look. Over here at Autopilot, I wanted to go ahead and take you through the setup process of this because it's set up a little bit different than most of the etched edges that you do. We're using a different type and it um, requires a specific height of a row uh, for the setup for this whole process to be um, just absolutely perfect the way we want it to be. So I'm going to first start off with the pattern type. Uh, we're going to be using a pattern uh, that needs to connect at specific points. However, it also is a squared off design. It doesn't require any offset. Um, the other thing about the pattern is the height that we want to make sure we have exact. So if we look at our quilt size, I've got a total height or length of a quilt of about 28 inches. So I want to find a height for this pattern that is divisible by the height of your quilt or my quilt. My quilt is 28 for this instance. So I'm going to use a pattern um, height of 7 because it goes into 28 four times. Seven, you know, 28 is divisible by 7. So I'm going to take this design and I'm going to come over to my height section. I'm going to change it to 7 inches high. And because sometimes the computer reads it a little differently than I would like it, um, I'm going to go a little less than 7, but always start with your main divisible number, which would be, for instance, mine would be 7. Um, yours could be whatever number it is. It just depends on the height of your quilt. Um, but I'm going to drop mine down another half inch. I'm going to go to about 6.5 just to give myself a little bit of range here. If I wanted to be specific, I could do it over here, 6.5. There we go. So I'm gonna have my pattern selected, come into my edge to edge setup. We're gonna be using a type of fit, so a fit type. Normally, most of the time you're using trim. Um, for these specific point ones, um, it works best to use fit for it. And I've got a variance at zero. I want this to fill up this, the grid itself. So I'm going to hit generate edge to edge. And it's going to place that pattern in for me. We can accept that, come back to transform, and then save your project and start quilting. The main part of this cool uh, tip in this video is lining up the points, but I wanted you to see the initial process. So we can start by quilting these first two rows, and then I'll meet you back once they're quilted and we're ready to roll the quilt. So I've just finished quilting the first two rows. Um, I've went ahead, I've rolled up, I've basted, everything like that. I just haven't repositioned yet because this is where the fun starts to begin for these rows that have to connect at a certain spot. So I'm about midway on the quilt here. It doesn't have to be perfectly midway. And I'm going to bring my machine to a point in the quilting where I can do my reposition. So I'll place it right there and then I'll come over to my screen. I'll travel down my crosshair line until I get to where red and green intersect. And we do have a little bit of shrinkage in the quilt. Um, so this is a perfect example of showing you how these rows need to you know, hit up perfectly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I will reposition because I haven't repositioned yet. So I will click where the machine is at now on the quilt, click apply. And now we're up to where we need to be. Now, what I want to do is with our traditional edge to edges that we do, Autopilot reads it at the pattern as one entire row. If I want to go and make changes, there's certain things that I would have to do. I'd have to go into nodes, or I'd have to divide out patterns, or I'd have to ungroup, 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 and sometimes even ungrouping wouldn't make them singular pieces. So because we use the fit type in edge to edge, I'm going to show you a cool trick to get these to line up perfectly. The first thing we want to do is use push pins to actually determine truly where our points are at on our quilt. So I'm going to head back over to my machine and starting on the left or right hand side completely up to you. I'm going to take my machine and I am going to click the actual points on the quilt where they need to match up. 
Now, one thing about it is, is I'm going to start probably about an inch above and then drop down to the point and then go back up, kind of making a V so I know exactly where the point needs to hit. So we'll start here. We'll go about an inch up using my left handle button on the machine. Come over, point, drop down to the point, point, and then back up. And once we get closer over here, I'll get you a better view. But you're going, staying about an inch above, dropping down to the exact point, dropping, going up about an inch, clicking and going back across. Creating that V whenever you remove your push pin shows you exact point of where you need to move to make it work. Okay, and then now I've got you a better angle. So we're about an inch above the point that we need to be. So I'll click a point here. I'll drop down to that point where they need to match up. Press a point, go back about an inch up, press, and then go over to the next repeat. Same thing, click, drop down to the point where they need to intersect, click, back up, click, using that left handle button the entire time. We'll head back over to our computer once we've got all our points clicked out, and you'll see you have those initial Vs that pop up. But because we have done that, if I remove these push pins, I get an exact point of where I need to be. Uh, sometimes it's just a little easier to work with that way. So I'm gonna hop into my push pins icon, I'm going to uncheck close when done because it doesn't need to be a closed shape for this. I'll click done and then I will remove all of my push pins. Come back into transform and now we have that point on the screen that shows us exactly where these patterns need to go and there's going to be shrinkage. So you can automatically tell if I went ahead and just hit go instead of doing this, they're not going to line up with where they actually need to be. You don't need to move the red patterns because they're already been stitched. We're only focusing on the row at hand. So the trick here is if I select the row, I'm going to right click, come down to group manager, and I'll pull up my group manager and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And if I click on that row again, it will highlight in kind of this powder blue the row that we're on. So near the bottom is normally the most recent row that you're going to be working on. And I know it for sure because they are highlighted this kind of powder blue as opposed to the black. So if I select the individual repeat, now it only holds that one. And while in group manager, I can hop into morph and use my morph tool and pull that pattern to hit that point right there. I can select the next repeat and pull it down to hit the point where it needs to. And you work all the way down as you go. So you just zoom in and out, working, but you can see how far off these were from where they actually needed to be. And that's just shrinkage. There's not really a whole lot we can do to fix that. So we learn our tips and tricks to get around it. But you can see how they move a lot as we go. We've got two more. So we move this one, move that one, and then make sure our end, yeah, that's a lot of shrinkage right there. We can hop out of our group manager. They're all still connected as one row, so they will stitch continuously. And you're all set from that point. So you would just repeat that same method all the way through. Um, you can delete your push pin line. So you right click on that uh, push pin line that we drew and delete it out. I would save my project and then we can start quilting. It's going right up and hitting the exact point that we need it to all the way across. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and learning how to use the type of fit in Edge to Edge along with using Group Manager and Morph to achieve perfect points when you're doing Edge to Edge that have to meet up in a specific section. I'll see you next time here at After Hours. Bye!